today we're going to be uh, putting this vest uh, through its paces once again. Uh, this is the Duke Defense Level 2 um, Dyneema uh, vest. Now this is your standard response vest. This is pretty much as plain Jane as it comes through the whole range from the undercovers, COVID vests, uh, poly vests. We, we do a whole bunch of custom work as well. So we have shot this puppy before. Um, Smith & Wesson. Yeah, 40 Smith and West and a uh, 5 ACP uh, pretty different blank range. None of them went through. We did a stab test, did a whole bunch of things, but we didn't film it, which uh, explains what we're doing here today. So, basically, like I said, level 2 Dyneema, not level 3A as the normal standard Kevlar vest. So, I'm very impressed with this puppy. 40% lighter than Kevlar, 40% thinner than Kevlar, stab proof. Uh, waterproof, uh, whereas normal Kevlar loses its integrity if the water gets to the rain coat. And uh, yeah, chemical resistant, UV resistant, it's just a bloody strong um, waterproof vest. Now. So yeah, without any further ado, let's uh, shoot it. We're going to be shooting it today with a um, 12 gauge shotgun uh, with uh, SG rounds. We're going to be shooting it with uh, an Imo Parabellum. We're going to be shooting it with a 40 cal and with a 357. Let's see how it does. Start off with a uh, single round of nine more. Let's go a bit closer, your typical self-defense distance here. Yeah. Uh, uh, seven meters. Uh, this is, so what would you say this is? That's probably around about <laughs> it stopped it. <laughs> that stopped it. Yeah. Let's open it up. Amazing. Hey! Uh, Very impressive. I'll go out the back. Um, let's have a squeeze in there. Did fuck all. Would you look at that? <laughs> okay, guys, so next up, uh, we've got uh, ye old 40 Smith and Wesson. Let's see how this does. Very impressed with the 9 more. Let's uh, have at it. Okay, now this is multi hit armor. I think I uh, got the better of me and it's like I've shot at the same flat. Let's see what happens. Oh. Did not go through. <laughs> Check out guys, that's literally that is that is one hole that you shot there. 40 and 9 more. It's just amazing. Check it guys. Nothing went through. As you see, this is where we cut the rounds out for from the last test uh, we didn't film cool so that's that this is uh, the 45 that we cut out the back and that is the 40 that we cut out the back obviously you can't take the projectile out from the front science so uh, well, let's pack this back up and uh, another crack at it so this is a 357 magnum factory factory run um, uh, there we go and Level 2, the NIJ level 2 standard is rated up to 357 Magnum. As you can see, this is not a massive distance. Um, we put it on a, on a semi rigid frame. And, um, yeah, nothing else really to say. Let's uh, let the uh, gun do the talking. That was a very hard hit. There we go. It is. Didn't go through. Lovely. Let's have a squeeze here. <laughs> Nothing. Amazing. 
Okay, cool guys. Right. So um, we've done the nine mil, we've done the forty, and we've done the three five seven. Now we are, what I have in my hand here is uh, an SG buckshot round and uh, Uno times slug. So I think we're gonna hit it first with the with the SG. Let's see how it fares. Let's have a look. This, this is close range, guys. I mean, this is this is three meters. Eh? That is some damage. I will be very surprised if that uh, was a little inner. Yes, it looks very sore. <laughs> that one actually. No, but we do not have penetration. Like I said, that was from previous tests where we cut it out the back. Also, where we cut it out the back. Guys, and scrumpled it up a little bit. It is multi hit armor. Nothing. So for our last test today, um, we're going to shoot a slug at it. No, no more words. That racked the door. Let's have a look. Shot. That was one hell of a shot. Let's see what happens. Yeah. That's ripped. That's pretty bad. So, basically, what this does is it acts like a spider's web. So, it takes all of that energy and just displaces it over a much larger area. Guys, <laughs> That's quite mean, but you shall notice it's clean at the back. Do not penetrate. So you know you're gonna know about it definitely. But lead outside the body is always better than lead inside the body. And uh, I think that uh, concludes this test. Uh, we'll be testing uh, more similar products uh, pretty soon. Thanks for catching it. Earlier today we uh, did a bit of a, a test on the uh, Jig Defense Level 2 uh, vests, the panels. Now, basically, we tested the panel here. Um, it was housed in this uh, standard response vest. Now, as you will find out shortly, um, Duke Defense makes a whole bunch of different, um, different vest options, basically. So, what we had here was um, a Level 2 insert, and we tested it with an Einmal round a 40 Smith & Wesson, a 357 Magnum, a SG and a slug out of a shotgun. Now, I was personally very, very impressed that I was blown away. Um, nothing penetrated. So uh, yeah, now we're just gonna you know, have a little bit more of an in-depth look. Just to shot that side. So yeah, let's uh, take the panel out and uh, and you 40% lighter and thinner than your standard Kevlar, it's much newer technology. It's also stab proof, whereas Kevlar is not. This is waterproof should it get through the rain jacket and uh, it's also UV resistant and chemical uh, resistant which is quite like so it's, it's, it's a pretty tough uh, material that it's made of now um, yeah, let's get straight into it so as you can see here on the back this is where we tested it last time off camera and um, basically we had to you can see the entry over there and over there now what we did is we couldn't get it out the other side so we cut it out the back of here. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm just going to open it up real quick and uh, we can get a better look of what's going on on the inside there. All right. So as we can see over here, nothing actually penetrates, nothing actually came through the back. Everything is lying in the front here. Now, I, I, was, I was so impressed with this because, I don't know if you remember, but the 9mm and the 40, 
literally uh, it, it, it went through the same hole and it's multi hit armor so I mean it, 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 <laughs> it really didn't do much after that first hit um, multiple layers let's check if we can take out some of the shrapnel over here that looks like a nine millimeter put that over there and uh, it looks like the rest of the, rest of the guys oh yeah they are that's a uh, another nine more we've got a 40 smith and wesson and uh, there is ye old slug. So you know what I think? You know, my mistake. I think that is the 357 Magnum. Right over there. And uh, yeah. All in all, a uh, very positive test, I would say. Before, but not on camera. We just thought uh, we'd show you the stab proof qualities of the Dyneema. Solvent, do not worry. Okay. Did not make it through. Let's give it one more, someone the same spot. Did not go through. Once again, very impressed. 